today's video. In today's video, it's all about taking care of the teeth. Brushing your teeth is vital to help your teeth to look clean. Now, when it comes on to stain on the teeth, such as yellowing on the teeth, coffee stain, and even plaque buildup, you will need to visit your dentist to get them clean professionally. However, in between, you can actually try some home remedies, or if you do not have access to the dentist, try some home remedies on your teeth, which will help to whiten the teeth. What I'm brushing my teeth with right now is a home remedy that I made in my kitchen. I am using it to whiten my teeth. Now, Now this remedy, you will have to use it on your teeth on a regular, at least three to four times for the week to see a fast result. It is very simple, it's very quick, and it's very easy to make, and it is also very effective to whiten the teeth. So if you're looking for a home remedy that you can use and have your teeth looking pearly white once used on a regular, follow me to my kitchen. I'm gonna share the recipe with you, and at the end, I'm just gonna give you some tips on how better to take care of your teeth. For this recipe, you're gonna need a toothbrush for your application. You're also gonna need a grater to grate the ginger, and you're also gonna need a strainer. Now our first ingredient is ginger, of course, and ginger has amazing benefit for the teeth. It also can help to strengthen the gum tissue around the teeth that can strengthen your teeth and gum line. In addition, ginger will help to whiten the teeth, remove stain from the teeth, whether it's caused from smoking or coffee or yellow teeth. So I'm gonna use about a ounce of the fresh ginger and what I'm going to do, I am going to remove the outer peel, so peel your ginger. A good way to store your ginger is to peel your ginger, place it in a zip locker bag, and keep it in your refrigerator. When you do that, you have fresh ginger right throughout the year, and it will not lose its potency. Now, after we peeled the ginger, take a look at it. This is it. So now I'm gonna be grating the ginger. You can also choose to blend the ginger. However, for this small amount, you know, it really do not make any sense to blend, so just grate the ginger. What we're gonna be doing is extracting the ginger juice. If you want to make more of this remedy, you can also choose to double up on the ingredient by using more ginger. So once you grate the ginger, take a look, this is what it looks like. And what we're gonna do, we are gonna just use our finger to scratch the ginger. I'm just gonna just kind of knead the ginger to extract the juice, since it really does not contain a lot of juice. Just make sure that your hands are clean. So once you scoop the ginger in a ball and crush it like I'm showing here, you're next gonna strain to get rid of any particles that is in the ginger juice. So reach for your strainer and strain. You can also continue to use your hands to strain it or you can use a spoon to just squeeze it and extract the ginger juice. Now when you juice your ginger also, you can put away your ginger juice and keep it in your refrigerator for up to seven days. Or you can choose to make ice cube with it and whenever you're ready to use it, you just take it out and let it thaw. So extract the juice and take a look. Here we have our ginger juice. So what we're gonna do next, we're gonna reach for our second ingredient, which is coconut oil. Coconut oil is one of the better oil to use when you're trying to whiten the teeth. It is good for oil pulling, it is good to clean the tongue, and it is also good to get rid of plaque from between the teeth. So I'm gonna be using about a teaspoon of the coconut oil. You really do not need a lot of the coconut oil. So go ahead and pour a teaspoon. 
And next, I'm going to reach for my final ingredient. And here we have some baking soda. Baking soda is the same as sodium bicarbonate or car bicarbonate of soda. Baking soda has been used for years and years and decades in teeth whitening. It will help to get rid of yellow teeth, dark stained teeth. It will also help to freshen the breath and it's also great for cleaning your tongue. So I'm going to use about a tablespoon of baking soda pour this in with the ginger and now we are going to mix all the three ingredients together now if you need a little bit more baking soda go ahead and add it since you want this to be more of a paste than watery and take a look at what i have here this is exactly how you want it to look now this small amount can last you for a week since you need to use this at least three to four times for the week when you just start out you can use it every day for best results so here we have our teeth whitening home remedy now to use this remedy you're gonna use it on your toothbrush so all you need is a pea size so add a pea size to the toothbrush and I like to press it on the toothbrush and then you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna brush your teeth now take a look here we have the leftover store it in your refrigerator for up to about seven days so let me go on the other side and show you how best to use this two to three times a week no less for whiter brighter teeth then you're going to rinse with cold water rinse it out with cold water you can choose to brush your teeth with some toothpaste after that for a more pleasant taste in your mouth this can be used every day especially when you're just starting out and you're trying to clean your teeth use this and before you know it you're on your way to a beautiful whiter looking smile so there you have it thank you all for watching if you like the video give it a thumbs up share comment and if you have not yet subscribed subscribe 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 check out my website the link is right here below and visit and show some love on my website thank you all and i'll see you in my next video bye bye